Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yesterday we had the guys come install the, uh, the quartz countertops. They look really good, exactly fit, exactly the way we want. Um, I had a little touch up to do here and there, a little caulking that they missed. But other than that, um, it really worked out great. Um, so after they left, I started finishing the plumbing, you know, the tie-ins, all the faucets and stuff like that. The faucets are in um, and two of the drain lines are in and they're working it up and running. And the last one is to be done now. I wanted to show you something. I didn't want to, I didn't want to go over the, uh, um, the faucets because it's, it's self-explanatory. You have instructions, they tell you what to do. It's pretty easy as long as you have a, a basin wrench. And I'll show you what a basin wrench is in a few minutes. But um, uh, the thing is, uh, I'm doing the last uh, hookup for the plumbing as far as the drain lines. And it's something very important I want to share with you guys. So stick around. All right, guys, so this is a basin wrench, okay? Um, this top here springs out, okay? And um, you, you wrap it around underneath the nut that's holding the valve, either hot or cold water in this case. And what happens is it gives you much better leverage to turn it, to tighten it, to tighten it the way it's supposed to be tightened, nice and tight and snug. Using a, um, a channel locks or pliers or a crescent wrench, you're just not gonna have the room in there behind the sink to do this. It's, it's kind of really arduous job to do. Not to mention you gotta hook up all these lines, especially with an eight inch rough. Eight inch rough, you have to hook up separate lines and stuff like that. It all comes with the kit when you buy the uh, faucets. Anyway, this is an invaluable tool if you really wanna do it right and um, save yourself some heartache. I was on my back for about an hour and a half or so between the three sinks. The four inch rough on the other side was easy. I was able to reach underneath on my knees and, and, and take care of it that way. But um, with these two here with the inch rough, I had to get my butt, my back in the cabin itself to try and reach up behind it. Anyone who's ever done that or a plumber, you know fully well what, what it involves and um, it's not easy. You don't have the right leverage and stuff like that for the position. But anyway, that's what this is. This is a basin wrench. You can get it for about 10 bucks or so in your, in your hardware store or a Home Depot, whatever like that. So this is something you really need. Now I wanna show you um, part of the kit that comes with the faucets the drain assembly, okay? And what you need to be careful for, this is really important. The rest of the stuff is cut and dry, but uh, I wanna show you this. So um, I'm going to move the camera so that you can see exactly what my hands are doing. You're not gonna see me, but you'll see my hands and I'll explain to you in the background what the situation is. All right, so before I move the camera, I just wanna let you know that I had each and every, all three sinks, the drain lines leak on me, okay? Now, um, I've done plumbing a lot in the past. And I'm going to show you the uh, uh, the drain assembly that comes with the uh, the kits. Um, they're all the same, um, and uh, I'll show you what I had to do to remedy this problem. And it's a very common problem because I did check it out online last night, and it's having the same problem, stuff like that. But not trial and error is something that really works. So um, I'll show you exactly what this is all about. All right, so this is the drain. It's all plastic. It has a, a plastic flange on it. The kit comes with a washer. It's actually like a uh, a, a very, very thin rubber uh, washer. And you put that on here, and you're supposed to seat it like this. So here's the deal. I've used plumber's putty for every job that I ever did, and here it is here, plumber's putty. It's very easy to use, but you gotta do it the right way. All right, and it's, it's cheap. So you put a, a whole uh, bead of plumber's putty on here, and then stick it in. This also comes with the release. And if you want to fill up your sink for some reason, that's what it it's got a spring on it, okay? No more behind the faucet where there's that rod that goes down to close the, uh, close the trap. This is the trap assembly right here, all in one, okay? All in one. This is typical of all three uh, sinks. You put the plumber's putty on, on here, and I'll show you how to do that and then you feed it into the hole. And when you put it down in there, you know, you, as you press down and it's nice and seated, it's a lot of it'll squeeze out, okay? So what you're supposed to do is take this washer, which is a bigger washer, and it's got a bevel edge on it. The bevel edge is supposed to point up. So you put this thing, let's make believe that this is in the sink already, okay? Put this thing in, lift it up, okay? And let's say it's in the, in the sink already. Now, this is below the sink. Now, this is below the sink, okay? Then you take this nut, all plastic, and you don't use a wrench on this. Do not use a wrench on this at all. You'll break it. So let's say it's, it's in. Okay, now we're going to spin it. 
We're going to spin it. And when we get it, use your hand and grip it tight and keep spinning it until it's tight. Hand tight. That's all it has to be. Okay. So I did it exactly the way it was supposed to be. And for all three uh, sinks, and it leaked. It leaked right here. It didn't leak up here in the sink, but it leaked down here. The reason is because every sink has an overflow. And the overflow is right down here in the front, like where you stand, okay? And so there's a, there's a, a channel that's built into the uh, sink itself that goes back into here. That's what these slots are for. These slots, there's one on either side here in this particular case, these slides, slots are for the overflow. So I did all the things I had to do. I turned the hot water on, the cold water on full. Everything's fine. I checked below, this, below the vanity. No leaks, no drips, no nothing. I said, that's great. So I go to the next one, so on and so forth. Anyway, I come back to the first one about 45 minutes later, and there's four or five droplets of water. And I couldn't figure out what it was. Well, it was coming from here. And it took time for the water to settle when it comes out of that, when it's, some of it's, you know, lodged in there in the overflow, okay? So even though it's not overflowing, and it gets stuck in there, and then it doesn't drain fully, and it drains, and it goes past this gasket here. So the solution to this, believe it or not, is this pipe joint compound, okay? It's like about four bucks in the tube. So what you have to do, and I'll show you this, what you have to do is when you put this down, the, the plumber's putty's here, down here, and then you got this to a point where, let's say, let's say, let's say it's not home yet. It's, this is not home yet un, un, attached to the underside of the, uh, the sink, right? So now you take this tube and you squeeze out, you know, like you would for toothpaste, like a whole, a whole big thing all the way around here, like toothpaste, just a whole big thing, okay? Then now, now you can start working it up, okay, working it up, and before you know it, you get to a point where you'll see it like ooze out a little bit, but it's not going to drip because this has a consistency to it. It's like rather, th it's rather thick. So you just keep tightening it up till it's, you know, hand tight, really good. And meanwhile, more of this stuff is going to squeeze out of here, you know, the, uh, the plumber's putty on top, and you clean that off, okay, and you're good, all right? Once that's done, you should be all set. And then you hook up your other piping that goes, the inch and a half piping that goes to the main drain line, which is two inch drain line, okay? So I'm gonna show you step by step of how I do this. All right, I take the plumber's putty, and that's exactly where it is, it's putty, okay? And you, you just knead it. What I mean by knead is you do this, you do this to it. Yeah, you warm it up a little bit so that it gets soft and pliable because it's kind of hard in here. You warm it up a little bit, right? Put it together, make a ball out of it, whatever you want to do. So it's tight, keep, keep kneading it so it's nice and, you see it start, well, because of the, the heat from your hands, it starts to uh, get a little bit softer. So what you do is you do this, okay? And you roll it, you roll it. Roll it on this side here. Roll it. Okay. Now you take your flange, all right, and put it around here. Now, obviously, there's way too much uh, material here, but that's okay. When you get to the other side, just break it off and then fold it over. Fold it over the other side. Now, now you can help yourself by like just tucking it in, making sure it's tight on here. This is gonna get most of this is gonna get squeezed out. Okay. So now, we're all set to go, and we're gonna put it in, into the drain hole. Okay, this goes in the drain hole, and you, you push it down gently, and as you can see, some of this is oozing out already, because we put a lot of material in there, right? Now, I'm not gonna take any of this out. I'm not gonna disturb any of this right now. Now, it'll find its own seat. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Now I'm gonna go below, and I'm gonna put this uh, rubber washer on, and then this over here. And I'll bring the camera down there to show you. All right, so we're below the sink now. Now I take this rubber grommet, and remember, this is not all the way down yet, okay? It's not all the way down yet, all right? So I take this rubber grommet, while holding this down, trying to keep it steady, although it will move. 
and put this up there. Now, as you can tell, I'm about a half inch away from the bottom of the sink, okay? And that's what, that's what I want. Because now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the, um, uh, the pipe joint compound. And again, it's like, it's like toothpaste, okay? And you gotta start in the back. And be liberal with it. Now I take the nut. Work it up in there. And now you also have to look on top. As you're screwing this in, don't forget to look on top to see where that, that flange is, is set, how it's seated up there. So I'm gonna do that right now. As I'm, as I'm turning this, I'm looking at the flange up top. Okay? Now I'm gonna go below and check to see where I'm at. See, I'm close, but I, I'm not locked in tight. I'm gonna go look back up on top again. Keep checking that flange up on top by the sink. Okay, now it's, it's almost hand snug, let's see. All right, so that's what's gonna happen. All right, that should be good. Hand tight, I didn't really kill it, but I got it pretty hand tight, all right? That should be fine. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. And now I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna go up here now and I'm going to clean out the, uh, the plumber's putty. So now that I'm up top, I'm going to fold this in. Fold it in into the hole. I'm not gonna actually let it drop down in the hole. But fold it in, okay, just like this. Pull it away. Now there might be a little residue here, that's okay. It'll clean right up, not a problem, okay? And so that's properly seated. Now I can take this spring-loaded um, trap, put it all the way down. That would be if, if we're filling the, the uh, sink with water. And this is the normal position right here, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna set the trap. Now obviously I made all this up before. It's already glued in. This is the height I put it at. If you recall in one of the videos, I did say that I wasn't going to commit myself to gluing this in because I had to wait until the sinks were, uh, were installed to get the right angle of where I want to put this. Now, it is flexible. You can move this stuff all around, but the storyline is just make sure that you, uh, you have a nice path to it without too many restrictions. This up first, the nut, the bevel edge down because what happens is the bevel edge makes it watertight here with the nut on top. It closes it down really good. These work really well, actually. And remember, everything with regard to this here, this assembly, is all hand tight. Don't put a wrench or, or a channel locks on it and muscle it because chances are it may leak. So let's put this up here. Again, flan uh, the, the bevel side down. All right, and I push it all the way up, all right? Now there's already a nut on here. This one's already tight and secure. Okay, so now this is another thing. You have this thing that has a bevel edge on it in plastic. We don't have a rubber washer and it's supposed to seat right in here perfectly. Sometimes this will leak. And if it leaks, you gotta undo it again and try to find the happy medium for the way this seat, the way this is set in. So right now, I'm gonna bring this down and I'm just gonna start it. That's all I'm gonna do. And now I'm gonna try and find the spot here with this. It looks like I have to move this in a little bit. So let me, I mean, move it in a little bit. Okay. All right. And now this should be good. Let's get this on here. Get this started. So it finds this happy medium here. All right. Now you gotta kind of work them both at the same time. Kind of. Hand tight. Hand tight. This guy too. Okay. So this has a blue rubber um, washer on it, you know, gasket, and this has a blue rubber gasket on it. This one, like I said, doesn't, as we saw before. So now we're good. It looks like we're good. I'm gonna test it out and see if it leaks. Right now, we'll see. We'll just clean it up a minute. Some of that pipe dope comes out. All right, here we go. No leaks. But what's funny is I'm gonna wait and I'm, uh, about a half hour from now, if I see a, a water droplets here, it's coming from here. But 
chances are that this is not gonna leak. It did leak, like I said before, before I put the pipe dope on there. So um, I did the one across on uh, the house and it works fine. So I'll just double check this every once in a while, but that's how you install this, okay? Um, it's not hard to do and um, it's something that you, um, you'll get some great pride from, from installing it. So, and you'll save yourself quite a bit of money too because plumbers are about $200 an hour. All right guys, that's a wrap on how to um, install a drain assembly with the trap, okay? I didn't want to go into the other stuff with regard to the faucets and stuff like that. It's pretty self-explanatory with regard to instructions and stuff. Um, pipe, the, the PVC pipe, how to glue it, it's easy. It's easy to just work clean, make sure your cuts are straight when you cut your pipe. Don't cut it with a hacksaw or anything like that, cut it on a, on a regular saw um, and you'll be fine. But um, So the last episode will be the reveal, so uh, stay tuned.